and welcome to Fox 10 Phoenix. I'm Josh Berger, and tonight we have a lot to talk about. Former President Donald Trump was very displeased and unhappy with our last reporting last time. It displeased him that we were talking about his plans to build a wall in China, and he thinks that we inaccurately portrayed the idea as stupid. Rally in Illinois Saturday, former President Donald Trump praising the Supreme Court's decision, calling it the biggest win for life in a generation, saying it was only made possible because he confirmed three, quote, highly respected and strong constitutionalists to the court. Trump cited it as a major victory with citizens' rights being protected and country being defended. And I've been telling them, I said, I said, we need the wall. They, Nancy Pelosi won't do it. She won't put it in the budget. And also on the agenda, I've got to talk about Fox 10 News and this man, Josh Berger. And he's a very bad man. He says a lot of false things about me, a lot of mean things, a lot of not true things, a lot of things that people don't really agree about. And we just, we need to get him fired. This deeply saddens me as I have voted for Donald Trump since 2004, every single year. Let that sink in. Also up tonight, we have the Amtrak has crashed. I'm going to be on the scene right before the crash happens. Finally, we'll be talking about the monsoons and how they have finally returned to Phoenix, Arizona. We'll be right back after this commercial break. moment from our sponsors try freezerita we all love it here at the station on June 27th 2022 the Amtrak train number four crashed in Missouri due to a truck in the train track crossing. This is a very scary occurrence, although not often, it is a possibility, and we urge all travelers to be safe this season, and we hope everyone stays safe and that the families are okay. Hi, hey, Josh Berger on the scene. We're doing a story on trains. Oh yeah? How was the Amtrak? <clears throat> Uh, much better than on the way there, man. Was it bad? Only delayed by two and a half hours. Did you get monkey pox? I, I may be a little... We'll be right back after this commercial break. Here out in the field, I'm Josh Berger, and we'll be interviewing a local rancher about the monsoons in Phoenix and how the monsoons will affect his cattle this year just outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Robert Robb, and yeah, I own three different ranches out here. I'd like to really cool. Oh. So, first up, we are going to be talking about the sheer amount of rain. Yeah, so I was walking to Cal Ranch and all of a sudden uh, this rain starts coming down and I see my cat and my cat is floating down a stream. So I tried to chase my cat down but uh, I'm still not sure where that cat is. This is really sad for America. 
I agree. I agree. How will this impact your ranch? Um, you know, I don't know if it will that much. Uh, my cat sometimes will lick the cow's like hooves, and I think the cows like that. So I'm thinking maybe the the meat may not taste as good just because the the cows aren't as happy without the cat licks. The Catholics? Um, what are your opinions on the? Church? I do love the Catholics. Um, you know this this uh love this uh this new uh, anti-abortion thing. Um, you know I think we need to just kind of enslave women. You heard it here, <clears throat> folks. A proud American with the new idea of enslaving women. Is this something that we could see in the next Donald Trump presidency? Perhaps. Maybe. Any messages towards Donald Trump in hopes that he will forgive me? Um, yeah, Mr. Trump, uh, President Trump, uh, pardon me, uh, I hope you return to office and anything this man said against you, I wholeheartedly believe that you're correct. Because I, I blindly follow anything you say. Thank you. Back to you in the studio.